Hey, Brian here. In this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between a three wire and a four wire condensing fan motor wiring when you replace a condensing fan motor from a factory motor to a universal motor. Now, many of you will point out that it's better to put in a factory motor. And of course, when practical, that does make sense. And in many cases, that is the best choice. But in many cases, using a universal motor will work just fine. And it's helpful to understand how to wire the three wire or the four wire version. So in this particular wiring diagram, it's showing you how to do the four wire configuration, which in this case uses both the brown wire as your capacitor lead and the brown with the white stripe as your capacitor common. The key thing to understand here with this motor is that these two wires, the white wire and the brown with the white stripe are exactly the same. If I were to ohm these out, I would find that they have next to no resistance across them. So inside the motor, these two, this brown with the white stripe and the white are connected together. Now, not all color codes are gonna be the same, so you have to follow the manufacturer's information for the particular motor, but that's also a very common color coding. And so when you see that brown with the white stripe, it's just a automatic jumper. It's just a jumper that they've pre-done for you with the connection being inside the motor. But a lot of times that's not convenient either because you're replacing the factory capacitor with another dual capacitor and that, that's one really common case and that's generally what I prefer doing. That way the customer also gets a compressor capacitor as well. So generally speaking you're just going to cut it back at the motor, you're going to uh, put a wire nut on it or you could run this wire back into the cabinet and cut it and cap it there. In the case of three wire, you're just running a jumper from wherever this white wire lands to the other side of the capacitor. So to make it simple, when you're looking at a motor, these two wires are your power leads. The brown wire with no right white stripe is your capacitor lead. And your brown wire with a white stripe is your capacitor lead that's just jumpered to that one other leg. Generally, it's going to be white or yellow internal to the motor. Here in this 3D illustration, we show you what it looks like specifically to do both the three and the four wire wiring methodologies. So that's it. Either one is an option, just depends on which you prefer, whether you're gonna have an independent fan capacitor or whether you're gonna use a dual capacitor and you wanna use the three wire method. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it and got something out of it, if you wouldn't mind hitting the thumbs up button to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and click the notifications bell to be notified when new videos come out. HVAC School is far more than a YouTube channel. You can find out more by going to HVACRschool.com, which is our website and hub for all of our content, including tech tips, videos, podcasts, and so much more. You can also subscribe to the podcast on any podcast app of your choosing. You can also join our Facebook group if you want to weigh in on the conversation yourself. Thanks again for watching.